What sort of alternative uh, society and culture oh, do you, do you one imagine? That, one that doesn't make guns and bombs, one that's not at war with itself constantly, one that doesn't poison the air, doesn't poison the land, doesn't poison the sea, one that has enough respect for each other and the planet we live on and all the other life forms that share this planet that we live on, one that has enough respect for all of that to live in a way that's completely sustainable, that is beneficial to all of life, so that mankind becomes a, a symbiotic life form that's supporting the life of its host planet instead of being a parasitic life form that's devoiding its host planet of its ability to support life. At the moment, I'm sat on a train going to Auschwitz and I know that there's gas ovens at the end of the line. And I can't think of anything that makes me happy on this journey. No, it's nothing to celebrate. No, it's nothing to rejoice about. What would make me happy is the idea of having a future. I'm watching it getting taken away more and more every single day. What's the main way in which do you think people could bring about this change or start to bring about this change in their habits? Just simple things like looking down, seeing a ball, looking up, seeing a bubble, and not seeing the artificial boundaries that man has put on this planet. That would be a good start, because I don't live, I'm not English. I speak a language called England, English, but that's it. I speak a language. That language doesn't make me. I live on a ball in a bubble. I don't recognize nation, nation state. I want to live in a world where everybody I see is a friend. So money has no value between friends. We help each other for the love of it. Nothing more, nothing less. I need to be looking after the whole planet, so I've got to find a way of making friends right around the whole planet. Not just on this little bit of it, because if this little bit changes and the rest of the planet carries on going to hell, then this little bit gets dragged along with it. So maybe it's changing the way that we perceive the world that we live in.